It's hard to keep up with what's going on in the cable, internet, and phone sectors. Cablevision is taking on Verizon with some big price cuts, and our next guest is taking on the world with desktop video phones. This is Brian Martin, Chairman and CEO of 8x8. Mr. Martin, welcome back. Thank here's, you. Here's the newest gizmo. Take us through this. What's this thing do? So this is just like a regular voice over IP phone service, except now we've got video layered on top of your phone call. So you pick up the receiver, you've got dial tone, you've got a regular phone number, someone calls you, you pick it up and talk just like a regular phone, but if you call another one of our video phones, you get high speed, instant on video, straight over the internet. Doesn't go back to the phone network. Hmm. All right, Mr. Martin, let's talk about financing. Uh, you just completed, I believe, another financing today. That's you great. did a financing in April. Uh, when do you predict that you will not have to do any more finances? I hope we don't have to do another financing. We've needed to shore up the balance sheet as we start to expand the distribution of these products, including the video phone. We just launched our first retailer last week at JNR. We just turned on our E911 service, which is the first one in the industry. And I hope that's the last one we have to do. All right. Well, listen. Uh this is a good this looks like a good thing I'm sure it's gonna work well but you're up against some pretty rough competition we heard today from Cablevision they're gonna have a huge cut rate to total package sure. that's tough to be I don't know what they have eight or ten million people Comcast is gonna completely roll out video uh, or uh, telephony on demand yep how do you fight this how do you fight these huge numbers these huge behemoths and that's not including the bells themselves yeah, I think if we have a better product, better quality at a lower price, because we've been the ones who introduced 1995 flat rate phone service just about a year ago today, then I think you win. And I agree, there's is some big fish out there. That's one of the reasons we wanted to close the financing even in this market. And, you know, I think we're, we're going to have a product that can go right up against those guys. I'd feel better, I, I feel better having those big guys out there looking at that same market because I came from the ISDN video conferencing world that was supposed to take over the world in the early 90s and we didn't have those big competitors playing in that space. How many other people have this? No one out there has the high-speed video that works seamlessly like right, a telephone. No, but I'm saying if I were to make this call to anybody, there are how many people have? So we've just rolled this out just today. Just rolled it out. Because yeah, okay. what I'm trying to figure out is, is that this would be one of those situations where if you were Verizon, you would give this to everybody and hope sure. that they use it. Can you, are you in a position where you can give this to people? We are able to subsidize the cost of the equipment because of that monthly phone service. We're selling the phone for $299 after rebate and then your monthly phone service from packet eight is twenty nine ninety five a month and that includes all of your regular voice calls anywhere in the u.s. or canada so you're right even if you don't have a video person to call you can always call any other phone number and use it as your regular phone you say you have superior technology and you say you're going to offer low prices but that's what comcast says and that's what verizon <laughs> says so my question is what kind of volume do you need for voice over internet telephony in order to break even and start turning a profit. You're not profitable. Yeah. How many? You've got, what, 60, 70,000 subscribers? We, we just announced at the end of March 11,000 subscribers oh. that are activated. How many do you need to I make think, this a profitable venture? I think we need about 100,000 1995 a month subscribers, which is what our basic voice service you is selling 11, for. You have 11,000 now. We've got 11,000 now. What we see is, I think that leading edge of the price curve, because of all these competitors jumping into the market, I think that price is going to keep coming down. And the way we combat that is by introducing video. We just introduced a new uh, virtual office product for small businesses. And that's how we, we blend in and keep the ASPs up as we grow the business. But even at 1995, it's a profitable business model with 100,000 subscribers. Okay, what kind of restrictions did you put on the person, on the institution? And if you would reveal the name, that'd be great. The institution that bought the stock today. Yeah, they, they've asked not to reveal the name yet obviously they'll have to file with the SEC soon um, the stock came right off of a registered shelf with the SEC so it is it's straight common stock it's registered today there's no restrictions on the so in other words I, if I were them I would hope that Cudlow and Kramer would hype this thing they could blow it out tomorrow but we're not hyping it <laughs> we're talking about the incredible difficulties you have so I don't understand why the stocks trading up right now yeah I, I think the financing worked with you know the launch of the DV 326 that wasn't our intention we had a window in time to close that and really uh, the announcement I was really focused on this week was was the rollout of our new video service because okay. I think it's a key differentiating factor and I, and I agree with you I, I think this is going to be more of a marathon I don't think this is a sprint the conversion from the old circuit switch to IP I think it's a marathon that's going to going to take a while it's not going to happen in a quarter or two and we're, we want to be in this for the long haul which is why we raised the money today now, how much cash you got in the bank how close to you uh, to the edge are you at the end of March we had 14 million in the bank we raised 12 today so we're well north of 20 with no debt 
Uh, last quarter, March quarter, we burned free cash about a million dollars. Now, explain to me, you've got 11,000. We've had this terrific, this John Rigo, the CFO of Vonage on. Every time he comes on, he seems to have doubled. He's up to about 200,000 now. Um, how many people did you have, say, two months ago? Only given the numbers on a quarterly basis. So well, we, 11, can break, we can break precedent and give it to us on uh, a monthly basis <laughs> no, right now. One of these great things about national TV is that we're, we're, we're fully compliant with FD. I understand. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're closing new numbers out at the but end of July. But what makes you different from Vonage? Let's, you got two fledglings, you Vonage got two is a, small ones. Vonage is a great what competitor. You, what's the difference? Uh, AT&T's new service is a great competitor. We are the only ones out there that are shipping video as of today in this form for residential customers. And we're the only ones out there with a small business product. Right, not for, not for business your size. You're JNR. Yeah. Well, okay, let's say I live west of the Hudson. Where do I get it? Uh, today from our website, packet8.net. But we will be using this money are to roll out in other retail are locations. Are you betting the ranch on this? Is this if this doesn't ranch attract, bet. Is, is it a ranch bet? Is this I'm, the end of the line ranch bet for you? I'm betting the, the How ranch. How much you got in the bank? $14 million? Well, now north of 20 if we close the deal. All right, not including the special financing. I'm just trying right. to figure out right. how close to the edge you're living. The, the ranch bed is on packet aid in general. I don't think we know which of these enhanced services, whether it's video, whether it's the, the, the business service on top of that, what keeps the differentiation there that people want to keep the service, even if one of these big fish you know, just starts giving the service away, but which if, I think if they you're, could. Don't you have to go to 995 just to keep the guys from Vonage? Hungry. I really don't. I have not seen either Vonage with all of their advertising nor AT&T with, I mean, they're blitzing my area out in San Francisco with ads. They have not taken any bite out of our sales, so I'm not losing customers to them yet, and I think that's good news for us. Well, well okay. it's a $2 and change stock, just yes, to remind our viewers. Please, that's it's me, totally meeting. speculative. When he was on last, it was 3 and change, right. so you know, it's, the trajectory's not necessarily been right, but he's got no some cash in the back. We, exactly. just, we just have to inform. Excellent. That's Brian Martin. He's the 8x8 uh, eight eight chair chairman and CEO. Next, Dell versus Hewlett Packard, which is a better buy. Those are, by the way, more substantial than 8x8, eight but don't, don't <laughs> represent as much as a lottery ticket. Later, Livia says it's back open for businesses.